Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card is about prosperity beginning. So this is the Ace of Pentacles, something brand new coming in on the money front over here. So whatever you've been putting out over there, whatever seeds you've been planting is starting to sprout and you are starting to see a shift in your finances. So if you were going through financial loss, it seems like things are turning around for you and things are starting to grow. You've now developed this new awareness, a new, new idea. This is the magician and this is being able to manifest whatever you've been thinking about. You might have been getting some divine inspiration, some divine guidance coming in for you. Maybe people have been giving you some advice that has been very prosperous to you. And you've also been very, very busy, but you've definitely got a new understanding about the way things are working. So you've got the spiritual strength card over here. So it looks like you've been through a lot of battles, a lot of problems, and you've coming out, coming out the bigger person for it. You've got this third eye chakra being um, activated over here. So you're definitely seeing things from a very different point of view and you're seeing the depth of things as well. And, you know, you are showing that you are, you are made of very stern stuff here. So you are definitely coming up. Um, out of it. So you've got both chakras, third eye and the crown chakra being activated over here. So messages coming in for you and you're able to almost foretell the future. So you're working on a very psychic level at this particular moment. You've got the um, um, firm foundation uh, um, card over here, uh, which is the four of pentacles over here. So, you know, you're laying down roots, you are getting established and you are finding more stability as well. See, the spine is, um, you know, activated over here. So um, this is showing that, uh, you know, you are uh, standing up for whatever you believe in and you are, um, you're now firm in, you know, in establishing yourself. And this has been coming in the last few months. You've also got the throat chakra being activated over here. So lots of chakras being act activated. It looks like, uh, you know, you are uh, reaching a different kind of spiritual level. You've got that awareness card, so reaching a, a new level spiritually. Now, the throat chakra is being able to communicate your ideas. So whatever you have uh, in your mind, you're now being able to take that authority back and communicate uh, all your ideas and whatever you're thinking and whatever you're feeling. So you're not holding back. You're letting people know exactly where you stand right now. So going into the future, it says the planning and patience. So whatever is coming, you need to just have a little bit of patience. Uh, you know, you've got these towers over here and it looks like, you know, it's showing firm, um, established uh, power and established authority. So just having a little bit of patience and standing firm in what you believe is going to um, uh, produce this material and spiritual prosperity. So even though things seem to be a little bit blocked right now because of this balcony standing between him and his abundance, it looks like you just have to be firm in what you believe in and stand, believe that, uh, you know, everything will work out uh for the better. So I'm just going to, uh, this is the energies for that week. Okay. So this is the uh, Tower of Ascension. This is for the main read. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Eight of Pentacles over here. So this is, you know, the work that you're pursuing, you're learning on, on the job itself. You might be taking on that role as being a mentor or teacher, but you're also doing, uh, you know, a lot of learning yourself. Uh, and you might be specializing, uh, you know, the work you're doing is pretty intricate. It's requiring a lot of, uh, you know, mental concentration as well. You're very focused on this particular job that you're doing right now. So um, what's happening with you? You've got the Ace of Wands over here and the Two of Cups. So you might have started a new relationship, uh, you know, with somebody that you get along very, very well with. And you all, uh, you know, you'll click with each other because this is the Ace of Wands. Now, this could also be, you know, you're starting a new sexual relationship with this person because the Wands cards is also about, uh, you know, uh, meeting somebody that you're very sexually attracted to. So this could well be the case that you're starting a new relationship with somebody and, you know, you're very, very sexually attracted to this person. 
you got the Empress card over here. So, you know, you have uh, achieved a lot and you are now standing up for yourself. You've got this very defensive position over here with a shield in front of you. So you are protecting your own interests and you've taken control back of your on your your life um, so uh, whatever's happened you are putting it behind you and you are achieving and you're achieving it by yourself so very very self-made over here so the five of swords getting and walking away from things that were no longer serving you really uh, you have come through very very difficult times maybe the situation that you were in in the past has been so nasty uh, you know you've had to turn your back to it and this is why you are so defensive with this Empress card so whatever you have had to deal with uh, you know there was a lot of betrayal lies um, you know maybe there was some um, um, mental abuse that even went on over here uh, but it looks like you're turning your back and walking away from it you're pre protecting your own interests you've got the king of wands which is your card over here so you are taking control of that situation and you are coming in, uh, on top you are uh, in charge you're not letting you're not letting anybody push you around in other words so going into the future, you've got the Hierophants. So this is about learning, teaching, and changing your traditional views. So you've, uh, you know, you've undergone some kind of spiritual uh, transformation over here. Whoever's not serving you, you're walking away from them. You're rising above it. You're not letting them get to you anymore. You've got your confidence back. Where you were feeling disempowered, you're taking that power back in your hand. And you're starting something brand new. Even making new plans for the future as well. So going into the future, there you go. You've got the death card over there and you're cutting out things that are not serving you. So you are really moving away, uh, you know, in a big way from whatever happened. And you're leaving all of that behind and moving forward. You've got the seven of cups over here, some options and choices coming in for you. So, uh, you know, whatever your new ideas and your new views of the world, it's opening up a lot of doors and it's going to be presenting a lot of options for you. So try not to get confused. Make sure you're picking one thing and moving forward and use your intuition. You've got this cat over here. Uh, this will be able to sort through problems and allow you to move to the fore to the future. You can see this is a, a child moving forward. So you know, if you pick something uh, and you make a decision, you will be able to make a brand new start. Uh, you've got the King of Cups over here. So, you know, maybe you're hoping for somebody to come in that's going to be more supportive of you and will be able to ha help you get through uh, all these difficult emotional uh, issues that you've been through. Maybe this person, this new person that you meet uh, is going to be that person who is going to be very emotionally supportive for you. And that's what you're looking for in a relationship. So going into the future, you've got the Queen of Swords, the Strength card, and the Ten of Pentacles. So you're very determined to get, uh, you know, your way in things. You want to move forward. You're not taking anything from anybody else. Right now, you are feeling, you know, uh, you're very independent. You're doing things by yourself. You're not allowing anybody else's in, uh, opinions to influence you, and you're speaking your truth. In the previous energy read, it showed that the throat chakra was activated, and it's, you've got the um, sword in your hand over here. So you are definitely uh, having been through a lot of difficulties. Maybe you know the Queen of Swords is usually somebody who's come through a divorce or a separation, and so they're very determined to get uh, you know things done. And it looks like you know you are going to be moving moving forward uh, with great determination. You've got the strength card over here so this is also taking control of that situation and making plans for the future you can see she's moving looking forward and uh, you know conquering all her demons facing all the problems and trials and tribulations she's coming out on top and you are walking away from things that you thought you know it looks like there was some established relationship that you were in uh, you are now moving on by yourself you're leaving that past behind this could also be some money coming in from some kind of settlement this could be a divorce that you went through with the queen of swords and this ten of pentacles it definitely shows that there was some kind of divorce and there looks like there will be some kind of settlement that comes for you financially making you financially independent but you will be moving away from things or a relationship you're severing ties with it completely and moving on you can see this uh, queen of swords is cutting out the past she's facing the past and cutting it out and with this Five of Swords, it's moving away from that past completely. Breaking of communication with that past completely. You've got that Death card even there to, you know, getting rid of that past and moving forward. So you are, um, you know, healing from whatever you went through and you are, um, you know, um, taking back your control. 
So this is the Angel Tarot for the uh, Oracle read. And it says, a new person enters your life, a relationship that begins a new phase, heightened psychic abilities. So it showed over here that, you know, you've got this Ace of Wands and this Two of Cups over here. So this could well be that this new relationship enters, starts off as something very physical and then progresses to something that is much more uh, intimate and much more spiritual. Then you've got the King of Air over here, which says, speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice, and uh, balance emotional or uh, uh, mental considerations. So this King of Air is also, you know, there might be some legal decision that you're make, waiting for uh, to come to um, a judgment to be passed, something legal that you're dealing with. Uh, and you, it also says, uh, you know, you do need to say what you need to say. So your throat chakra being activated means that you need to speak your truth. You've got the King of Earth over here, which says a successful time. Confidently accept opportunities offered a Midas touch. So you're getting back your financial uh, independence as well. This could be that you're signing new contracts, getting a, a position of great leadership uh, and money coming in for you as well. So you are, you're, you don't have to really be worried about money. All of that will get sorted it out you might be signing new contracts for a new job if you're moving or changing jobs uh, but it looks like you know you are taking back that control and you're getting back into your position of leadership and you're being financially independent as well you're doing things for yourself you're not allowing anybody else to push you around anymore so i hope this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it has thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye